The relevance of the African Union will be firmly in the spotlight as the Mo Ibrahim Foundation's Governance Summit kicks off in Rwanda on Friday. Now, prominent African political and business leaders, as well as members of civil society and international partners, will be there. The former Liberian president, Ellen Johnson Sirleaf, will be awarded the Mo Ibrahim Prize for Achievement in African Leadership. This was initially set up in 2007 to acknowledge presidents who excel while in office, do a decent job, and do not cling to power beyond their term. This year, the summit will focus on the delivery of public services, good governance, and effective leadership. Panelists, though, will also be debating if we actually do need the African Union. The 54-nation bloc is currently promoting a lot more intra-African trade and trying to wean the continent as a whole off donor funding. Around the world, you get all these sort of uh, heavy nationalist, proto-fascist movements sort of uh, trying to trash any form of international cooperation and multilateralism. Um, so uh, how can those who believe in cooperation, international, regional, continental cooperation, best achieve their aims? Should they go for the political kingdom first, as Kwame Nkrumah said 70 years ago, or should they try to do the sort of small economic commercial things and appeal to people's more materialistic natures? We can see that apart from the traditional demands such as health, education, security, you can see new demands piling up, solidarity, justice, protection from terrorism, pro climate mitigation. If you add to this the new duty sheets that have been added by the very numerous multilateral uh, commitments, there needs to be priorities. And that's once again why we are very keen to hear the young people